Welcome everyone, Sandra Alexa here from Game Changer and my personal amuse. Okay, it's all about self-discovery, it's all about change, it's all about cosmic cycles, and today we're going to talk about the energy of this wonderful new moon. Okay, so it can be kind of like a forecast for the moon energies. Okay. First of all, this is a Taurus new moon. And so you're going to embrace it. And this is ruled by Venus, which is about love, but also about finances. Okay. And it occurs on April the 22nd, which is actually Earth Day, and at three degrees of Taurus. So this cycle of the new moon wants to plant new seeds and start fresh. Love the Taurian Earth energy. Very important to intimately connect with Mother Earth. Get outside, feel the earth and the grass on your feet and the sun on your being. Hug a tree. Take the time to examine and appreciate the beauty of the flowers, the shrubs, and the greenery. It's amazing what you can find in a, a bud of a tree or a flower. You know, I watch how the tulips will open. So take that time, be mindful, and be aware. And I actually shared a video on grounding because Taurus is a very earthy energy and we need to be grounded, especially during these very chaotic times. So you want to breathe in the life of beauty and the universe. Again, Taurus ruled by Venus. It's about beauty, love, aesthetics, pleasure, value, worth, and your relationships with finances and material possessions. The perfect time for new intentions. As we weave our future in being mindful of every moment, especially now, that we've been isolated and we've been having to come more within. It's a great time to write out your intentions. However, if you do not walk your talk and be more mindful of keeping your thoughts and emotions in check, you are not in alignment and will actually have stagnant energy. So it's like stuck. So things don't move forward. During these stressful and chaotic times, it's about controlling what you can, and that depends on how you either react or respond daily and by moment and moment. So you need to be your own witness and your own observer. Uh, when you're doing something, when you're, um, when you're in conversation with somebody on the phone or in person, um, because what frequency are you broadcasting? Are you broadcasting fear or are you broadcasting trust? Remember each sp specific frequency attracts an event and an experience. So if, I'm, if I am giving out the frequency of fear, it's like, oh my God, I'm not sure, whatever. I'm, what am I gonna get back? I'm asking you, if I am fully trusting, I'm not fearful, I, I, you know, I've got under control what I need to get under control, okay, then I'm going to be fine, okay. That's why we say that we co-create with the universe. The power of discernment is needed, as you may easily be hoodwinked. Thought seeds coupled with strong emotions planted at this new moon will grow. So be very careful what, in fact, you do, do wish for. You just might get it, okay? Decisions made at this time can be from habitual drives and immature physical cravings which may not be in your best interest, okay? So let's talk about that physical, sensual cravings. Okay, I want to eat more. I want to go into this. I want to drink more. I want to have more sex. I'm going to buy online. I'm going to do whatever, okay? These are physical. So we need to 
get past that and get more into the spiritual of what's my worth and value and what's going to be good for my body. How am I going to maybe lose some weight? How am I going to maybe build my immune system? So looking at your supplements and that type of thing, looking at an exercise program, looking at what you're eating, looking at how you're spending your money, okay? Right now, this big, big um, what energy, a big thing on money right now, okay? And only you know you where you stand with it. All you need to do is look in your bank book. Simple. The inner and outer reality need to match if you're going to co-create in harmony. So if I'm saying to myself, everything is just wonderful, whatever, in my thoughts and whatever, and yet my outer reality isn't, it's not matching. So it don't matter what kind of intentions I do, I have to get really clear. I have to get clear here within, clear outside, what kind of intention do I want to do? Clarity and discernment. This isolation time has been relying, you've been relying more on personal self-sufficiency, cooking, so not going out for meals, having to be with with others all day. Um, the children aren't in school, your partner might not be. So you're sharing space and you're respecting each other's needs and wants. Are you? That's the question. The only problem can be if things sometimes come too easily. So then we can be prone to indifference and complacency. Does it really matter? The key is for everyone to do what is required to be done and not rely on one specific person. In that case, the devil makes work for idle hands and the indulgent and decadent tendencies could start to kick in. It's like what I need. Okay, so my partner's here. I need this. I need this. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I want to eat right now. I want some sex. I want just a second. Just a second. You know, be more mindful. Strong families will become more tightly bonded with weak ones, and they could be going a little bit stir crazy. This is a make or break time for relationships. Having personal responsibility ensures that we keep on plowing ahead and thereby avoid being tempted by useless distractions. Okay, like I do a lot of, I do a lot of writing. I do a lot of um, videos. I do a lot of webinars. I'm learning a lot. And I'm, it, I don't care what other people do, but some of the people on Facebook send me some things for playing games. I don't play games. I've just, just joined a new thing to put, which I wasn't, I thought, well, maybe I'll try that. It's to put a song that you like up every day that brings back. So that's something different for me. Okay. Otherwise, you may be tempted into immediate sensual pleasures rather than investing your energy in now for the future. This is giving you some clarity, some downtime. What am I going to do? How am I going to work this through? You know, asking for some guidance. Now, such a wonderful time to go within or without, to your favorite place physically or in your mind, depending on the weather, okay? So you can go to the forest, walk, water parks, anything that is very grounding, okay? Get back to the basics and dropping into the now, a stillness and grounding, okay? So in your home, you could have your, your diffuser on, you could go outside in the backyard, put your feet, it's about grounding, okay? Like I say, hug a tree, and if it's really miserable out, you can just go back in a memory. Go back in your photos and see yourself. For me, I can see myself on the white beach, and I can, I can feel, I can smell the ocean. Um, Go for a walk outside. You need to do what you need to do for you. So many blessings and much love. And it's a great time um, if you want to have a session or a reading with the new moon. And I have some other videos that, that you'll be looking at. It's it, very, very interesting, powerful times. So I would appreciate it if you would um, like and share this video. And hopefully you would consider subscribing. And I want to say many blessings and much love. And uh, like I say, check out um, 
Game Changer, the book. It's on audio, um, ebook, hard copy. It's in soft copy. It's you can get it online. It's in Indigo, and you can look at the different synoptic videos on the YouTube channel for it. And you can go to mypersonalnews.com and see the different services I have. And I have some exciting new things on karmic relationships. There's a bunch of videos coming out. We have a new series on. So I wish you all the best. Much love. Many blessings. Thank you.